What is going on everyone? This is El Karloff back here yet again with a brand new gameplay commentary on Star Wars Battlefront. And in today's video guys, we are doing some blast, good old blast gameplay, which is basically team deathmatch. Um, we're playing on Sulphur Fields, which I haven't posted a gameplay of this map yet. Um, it is very interesting. It's really good if you have the scan pulse on this map because enemies are always hiding behind these large obstacles and stuff. Um, a bunch of these rocky cliffs. So I'm running with the scan pulse, the thermal detonator, as well as the booster pack, which is the jet pack. And yeah, guys, um, if you guys haven't heard the recent news in Star Wars Battlefront community, uh, the new map pack is coming out, and I think it is going to come out maybe within a month or so. I forget what uh, the time period. Um, but yeah, guys, there's going to be four new maps, a new gameplay, uh, and also new guns and stuff, which I'm really excited about. Uh, the one thing I wish they would release is, like, I wish they would have released a game with a bunch of maps off the start and weapons. Um, but I kind of like the thing that, uh, you know, how EA always releases, like, their downloaded content and season passes and stuff. So they have a nice little plan of how they want to make their money. But, um, yeah, the first map, it looks great. You could play as Greedo. Uh, I forget the other character you could play as. I think Admiral Akbar uh, is another playable character. And Greedo has an auto lock, which can like kill four or five enemies at once. Um, kind of like in Red Dead Redemption, how you can lock onto the targets and shoot them real fast. Um, so it's really cool how they added that. It's a nice little uh, perk of playing as Greedo. But yeah, guys, in this video, I do fairly decent. I get over 20 kills. Um, it's very action-packed gameplay, as you can tell already, because this map is kind of small. Um, it's good with the E11 uh, blaster rifle. That's the main weapon I use in this video. It's also good with the A280C, which is the other blaster rifle for long ranges. Um, it has a f higher, you know, rate of fire and everything, a lot of damage it does. Um, right there, that was a disappointment. I think I'd jump over here and kill him, though. Hopefully I get this guy. I can't remember, actually. Um, I recorded this on my day off, this gameplay, which was, I think, Thursday. Or it might have been a couple of days ago I recorded it, so it's fairly recent. I'm going to try to get some probably turning point gameplays up as well as supremacy. I like recording those longer matches because I get more kills and they're more action packed. Uh, you know, because there's vehicles and everything uh, throughout the entire game. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of different things that you could take out and enemies you could kill. But yeah, guys, I've been having a blast so far. Um, college is going great. Everything's been great so far. Um, I'm pretty much going to be finishing up the semester by the first week of May. So by then, I should be able to, you know, record videos and stuff. I'll be working a lot this summer, probably 9 to 6 every day, because I need to make up some money. Uh, that was a nice long-range kill there with my E11. Um, also got... Ooh, I'm sorry about that. My mic, I accidentally just pushed it. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I was saying, um, I also want to do some different Let's Plays after I finish these. Um, so, like, basically, once I'm done with Far Cry Primal, I'm either thinking about doing The Division or something... Um, tell me what you guys think if I did a Division Let's Play, because that game looks amazing, and I've heard some great reviews about it, although I heard after you hit level 30, there's, the game's like broken or something, um, but I'm still gonna look into that game, because it looks great, uh, Tom Clancy's The Division, so let me know down below, guys, what you think about me Let's Playing The Division, and also, uh, my Nostalgic Let's Play series, which is gonna cover PlayStation 1 games, uh, basically all kind of games from my childhood, um, Maybe even early Xbox games, I have no idea. But uh, I was thinking about playing through games from my childhood and like doing commentary series on those. So just let me know what you think about that um, as well. Also guys, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been partnered with the Platinum Network, which is uh, Rec Studios. So they're now uh, helping me with monetizing my videos and everything. And hopefully growing my audience on YouTube and my influence. Uh, I really want to get you guys involved in my videos and... Um, I don't know, I was thinking about maybe doing like a server event or something so I could get my subscribers involved in my content uh, rather than just posting. You guys could actually be a part of my videos and stuff. So, um, either setting up a server, I have no idea what I was thinking about doing, but maybe we could even do a live stream on my channel one day and we could all play Minecraft together or something. Um, so yeah guys, just let me know in the comments down below, I'd really like to hear... Uh, your feedback and everything. It's always great to hear feedback from subscribers. Uh, oh, this little clip right here, I get totally destroyed by that guy. <laughs> um, Slim City 67 he just totally shot me down, but that's alright. That's one of the drawbacks about carrying around this blaster rifle is it doesn't really have a lot of uh, 
I don't know, like ammunition or whatever you, however you say it, but um, it overheats quite fast if this weapon, which is one of the reasons why I prefer the A28C or A280C blaster rifle over the E11. Um, although the E11 is good for close range fire, uh, which is one of the reasons why I use it on this map. Um, but yeah, guys, other than that, uh, this gameplay is pretty action-packed, like I said earlier. Um, I was gonna cut out in between when I die and stuff, but I'd just rather upload the entire gameplay as one clip, uh, so you guys won't miss any of the action, you can see everything. Um, I do need to rank up, I haven't been playing much Star Wars Battlefront off-camera, mainly because I've been so busy with college and, you know, school and stuff like that. Um, that was a lucky kill there, I was about to die. Uh, but yeah, so I really haven't been able to play. I've only been able to play on my days off, which is usually Thursdays, um, when I'm, is like with the day off, I'm, I'm off from work and stuff from the butcher shop, so that's pretty cool. I get to usually record a bunch of sessions of Far Cry and stuff. And another thing I haven't been recording a lot is my Minecraft co-op survival series with my friend Jake, uh, which has been getting some good comments and good feedback. Um... Although, the one of the reasons why, like, I'm sort of, I won't be talking about this right now is because of the lack of views on my videos. So I would like you guys to help me out a little bit with that. Uh, get my name out there. Um, hopefully more people can subscribe to my channel and watch my content. Um, because I really enjoy making these videos for you, and I would just like everyone to watch them. And, you know, just enjoy my channel, basically. Um, but yeah, that's one of the hardest things if you're like a new YouTuber is to get your views up and stuff. And, uh, basically build your, I don't know how you say it, but basically build your base for your channel. It's, like, one of the hardest things. It's one of the things I struggled with when I first started with YouTube, uh, over five years ago. I can't believe that. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I have, like, a decent amount of subscribers, but I would just like to get more people involved in my channel and get my content out there. Um, you know, my commentaries and everything. I'd like people to watch them a lot more. Uh, because I think they're pretty enter entertaining, but, you know, the views speak for themselves sometimes. Uh, oh yeah, right here I got the orbital strike coming in, so I just boost it across the map. That really helps out a lot in those tough situations right there. Um, but this is another situation where that scan pulse came in handy, because I was able to see through all the rocks and stuff and take out that enemy. Um, although I did get killed. It was just a nice little thing there. And uh, another thing I like how EA did with their maps is there's like hazardous materials such as the sulfur. Uh, you know, you could get killed by the sulfur on this map, those big deposits. Uh, if you fall into them, you'll start burning to death. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, they did, they did a really great job on this Star Wars Battlefront game. Um, I just basically wish there was more upgrades and attachments for your weapons and, uh, you know, character customization as well. Um, but you never know, they could upgrade some more stuff in the future DLC packs. I don't think I'm going to be getting a season pass, though, uh, mainly because I'd just probably buy the map packs as they come out or are released and stuff like that. And uh, probably the next Star Wars gameplay, I'm going to try to do a Heroes vs. Villains uh, gameplay when you could play as Darth Vader and all the characters, Luke Skywalker, you know, Princess Leia and all that. So uh, that's probably going to be my next Star Wars gameplay. Because I've sort of had a theme of either doing a supremacy, uh, turning points, or blast gameplays. So I want to kind of get some other different modes out there on my channel and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, guys, this gameplay is almost coming to an end. So keep subscribing onto my YouTube channel. Also like my Facebook page. I usually post updates on there throughout the week uh, regarding my uploads and videos and interesting things that are going on in the gaming community. Um... I'm going to start to get more involved on Facebook as well as, uh, well, not my Twitter. I don't even have a Twitter for El Karloff, but um, I'm basically just going to try to get more involved. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you all next time.